G'day and welcome to a new year on my blue heaven. I've just topped into the car after the club's um, first open training session for the fans. Um, and yeah, it was really underwhelming. This is just a little introduction before I'll show a little bit of footage, a little bit of commentary, a little bit of vision of the players training. Um, I'll give a rundown of the uh, the blokes on modified programs, the guys that were missing, the injured guys. Um, yeah, but the whole experience was very, very ho hum. Um, you know, we don't as fans, and then look, this is training, and it's not a huge deal. But for those of us who like to get along and watch, and I've done this now for a long period of time, and they're getting. It's getting harder and harder and harder to get access to this football club um, away from the actual game itself. And today was, yeah, you know, uh, over-officiated by security, cramping you into one side of the ground, asking you questions while you're filming. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll be in much of a hurry to attend one of these again. Um, but anyway, that's my little editorial. Um the players did not train for long. It was a really low-key uh, training session at one stage there towards the end. There was only around about 18 or 20. Um, yeah, they did a few drills. I don't think they really got out of second gear. Um, I don't know. This mustn't have been the main session in regards to ball work. Um, yeah, I, I, I think local football clubs are trained a lot harder than what the boys did today. There, there wasn't a lot of voice. There wasn't a lot of enthusiasm. Everything was done um, at half pace. Uh, and as I said, there was a lot missing and a lot um, on, on modified programs. And it's hard to get a gauge. It's hard to get a read. I mentioned it throughout the video. It's hard to get a read at the moment on the blokes they're, they're putting in cotton wool. Um, you know, guys who've had a, a long history of injuries, um, but there are some genuine concerns about the health of our list, uh, you know, um, and it's going to be interesting over the next month or so in the lead up to, you know, lead up to the first practice game and then into round one um, about, you know, what we're going to look like what we're going to look like because there are there are some niggles around at the moment every club is experiencing that but for some reason you know we we aren't in a good we aren't in a good spot physically um so we're gonna have to see how that pans out anyway i hope you're well um and enjoy some of the vision that i've uh, that i've put up and uh, some of the commentary as well speak soon
Opera. Okay, looks like there's only around about oh, 18 or 20 blokes going to look like dissipate in some, um, some match sim. A little bit of contest contest work. There's a lot of players on the sidelines in the rooms behind closed doors. I'll just run through the uh, some of the blokes who aren't involved. Matthew Kennedy saw him fleetingly, um, looked to limp from the field very early on. Oki Fogarty. Um, injured at the moment, back injury, running slow laps, then moved into some strides. Uh, Mitch McGovern, did a little bit of work early, ball work, but now um, he is uh, running some slow laps with Mark Pitnett. Tom DeConning saw early, um, but then just went off the track and hasn't been sighted since. Um, let's go through. Sam Walsh, good to see him out there. Ran some uh, slow laps, then did some, some strides at around about half pace. Uh, back in the rooms now. Jack Martin um, saw him fleetingly as well. Um, hardly sighted behind closed doors. Jacob Wiedering, a mystery. Um, not seen at all. Jacob Wiedering. David Cunningham is all concerned. We've got some footage of David Cunningham. Would not come over to the side of the ground where the crowd is. Just did some really light running and looked like a, a bloke of about 90 years of age, David Cunningham. He's behind closed doors now. Um, Lewis Young, rumour yesterday that he was in a moon boot, has not been sighted at all, Lewis Young. Sam Philp uh, did a little bit of training early, then is just doing a little bit of uh, running at the moment. The same with Zach Williams. Um, did the ball work early and now doing some modified running. Um, who else? Matthew Cottrell, we know about his foot injury and Jordan Boyd has gone into surgery. So that's a really, really big uh, lot of players who aren't actually participating in the main, main drills at the moment. Okay, the players are just doing a little bit of, um, bit of match sim at the moment. Green v blue. It's actually quite wet down here at Princess Park this morning. Very humid. Really low intensity training session so far. Not a lot of voice, not a lot of talk. Jack Carroll with the ball at the moment. There's a youngster, one of our draftees, Jackson Bins, with the ball, 32. Pan the camera across, we can see a number of players just having a shot for goal. There's, uh, it looks like Philip and Charlie Kerno, Mark Pittnett, McGovern, Zach Williams on the far side of the ground. Now with question marks over Lewis Young, it door certainly opens up for, uh, for Sam Burden, who's trained relatively well. The big South Australian, formerly on North Melbourne's list, we picked him up in the mid-season draft. Now becomes quite an important cog for the footy club. I'm just hoping that Jacob Wiedering is unavailable for a particular reason today in this session, but it's a bit of a mystery. I've not seen him at all. Tom DeConning as well came out, then disappeared. looking for some positives from what we're seeing out on the track 
uh, from a physical point of view, not so much a, a, um, a skill point of view. But Paddy Dow has definitely put some, some size on in his upper body, as to Jack Carroll. Finding a bit of the ball, this young Jackson Binns. Chero, who had, uh, he had a hamstring injury early, um, as in early, the last time we were here, just before Christmas. But he's done the whole session so far, which is good news. He's got the ball now. Plowman, mainstay. I'll tell you what, uh, Jesse Motlock has got the biggest legs I've ever seen. He's built like a brick shit ass. Corey Durden was the other one who um, he's on a modified program, the other small forward. So essentially at the moment, the only blokes we've got participating in this in this drill is young Lockie Cowan, the Tasmanian, Blake Akers, Adam Sard, Lockie Plowman, Nick Newman, Jack Carroll. Big H with the ball now on Sam Durden. Brody Kemp's got through. Lucky O'Brien. Sam Durden. Jack Silvani. Fish with the ball. Sam Doherty. Matt Owies. That is bloody slim pickings. Dominic Q as well out there. Turn the camera across to here. We're just so short in numbers. Okay, this is um, Ebert. This is Brad Ebert there. We picked him up as an assistant coach from Port Adelaide. He's had to jump in to this match set. Akers with the ball, let's see him use it, let's see him use it. Question marks on his kicking, Blake Akers. Yeah, that's, there's Paddy down now. He looks really good, Paddy, oh, there you go. He sums him up. Jeez, he's, big in the, he's got big in the arms and big in the shoulders. Last year he was, his upper body was so underdeveloped. Akers with the ball again.